The free rig has gained a lot of attention the last couple of years, but what does it really look like underwater? Well, I experimented with three different soft plastics and there is a huge difference. And I think this is gonna give you more confidence in what plastics you use with your free rig. For those of you that have not tried this yet, the setup is really simple. Just go ahead and take some sort of weight that has a round line tie. This here is just a regular lead bell sinker, but there's drop shot weights that have line ties without that crimp up at the top. You just need something to slide up and down the line. Then go ahead and take your favorite hook and Texas rig, your favorite soft plastic, and you are ready to go. And the idea is that because this weight will slide back and forth, that the lure has a better drop, a free fall, and then also moves around more freely on the bottom. Well, and at the end of this video, we're actually gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison between a soft plastic with a traditional worm weight and the free rig, and I think you'll find it interesting. Let's go ahead and start off with a straight tail worm. Now this is a filler worm, very similar to a robo worm, one of my absolute favorite soft plastics. The first thing that you will notice is on the fall, on the drop, because it's a slender lure, there's practically no weight and lure separation. So it just shoots right to the bottom very quickly. I don't think this would be a surprise for anybody. And then when the weight actually hits the bottom, there's really none of that free floating separation in that last part of the drop that we hope for when we are throwing a free rig. So it's basically non-existent with a very slender, soft plastic. Now, when the lure is down on the bottom, it does have a very nice action. It takes very little movement from the rod to impart that, that real nice crawl, that moving side to side. It looks really good. Well, then I went ahead and tested the pop. Part of the idea with the free rig is that when you pop that lure, it's going to continuously have that free floating slow fall to it. Well, with the straight tail worm, that just doesn't happen. It, even if you really pop it off the bottom a long ways, we do not get that because there's no resistance to the lure on the drop. Lure number two, let's go ahead and take a look at this soft jerk bait, another one of my favorite soft plastics. Very similar to the worm on the drop, so it shoots down through the water column really quickly as well. But with the body design of the soft jerk bait, because it's a little bit different when it gets to that very last part of the fall, when it drops, the lure does have a very different side kick, a slight kick to it as it hits the bottom of the lake bed. Is it that free floating action that we're looking for? No, but it's definitely different than the straight tail worm. And like the plastic worm, when it's on the bottom, it has some really nice action to it. Doesn't take much movement. Once again, it, you know, it wiggles, it twitches, it does all these things that we really want it to do down there on the bottom when the weight is closer to the plastic. And then when I pop this one off of the bottom, it will continue to do that slight kick as it hits the bottom, but still doesn't really have that free floating action that often we think is happening when we're on the boat deck or on the shoreline. In just a second, we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison between a standard worm weight and then the free rig weight. But first, let's go ahead and get to bait number three. Next up is a soft plastic craw, and right away on the drop, because this body design has more resistance, we are getting that free floating action. Look at the separation between the weight and the soft plastic. There's a lot of it really quickly, and then when the weight hits the bottom, that plastic really has that floating action that we often think that we are getting with the free rig. And then down on the bottom, once again, it looks really good. It has good side-to-side -side wiggle to it action. Very happy with this. Now, when I popped the lure and gave it that big pop, once again, every single time, it's got that nice floating down action that we want. Now, I will say it takes a substantial substantial pop of the lure. You've really got to give it a good separation between the bottom and then the top of that pop to get that action coming down. But the craw, because it has really good resistance, does exactly what we picture in our mind's eye. So as you're picking soft plastics, make sure that you go ahead and pick one with a lot of resistance if you want that free floating action. Really important. 
Well, let's do that side-by-side -side comparison between a worm weight on this filler worm and then the free rig weight. And when I first compared the two of them, I thought, well, there's just not much difference, not as much as I was expecting. But the more I looked at it, when I went back and repeated it and watched it again and again, definitely I feel that the worm weight has more of a side sliding scooting type of a retrieve and action with this worm weight where the free rig has a more of a up and down vertical type of a presentation now is this a huge difference no i didn't think so but is it enough is it going to matter what do you think go ahead and drop some comments down below if you've got some free rig experience and what you found share it with the rest of us here but i did find it interesting to put these side by side but as a wrap up definitely make sure that if you want that free floating action to use a lure that has some resistance to it on the drop and i think you're going to be very happy with what it's doing under the water and hey if you'd like to watch a video that talks about where most bass go when they are pressured. Go ahead and check this one out right here and make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.